Let's bring in our ABC News political contributors, Michael LaRosa, former special assistant to President Biden, and former Republican Congressman Tom Graves of Georgia for more on this. Uh, thank you both for being here. Tom, uh, a source tells ABC News that Republicans are essentially split into a few factions. Some are opposed to McCarthy. Some are staunch McCarthy supporters. Some generally support him, but they don't want to go on record with him or against the, quote, never Kevin crowd. But that source says that some of his supporters are losing patience. They want to see progress or they want him to step aside. So how much of a fine line does McCarthy have to walk as he tries to win more votes without losing the support he already has? Yeah, I think that's a that's a great uh, description of probably how the conference is right now. You have those opposed to McCarthy, those that are ardent supporters, and then those that are supporting the nominee of the Republicans, which is Kevin McCarthy. Um, and they're all growing weary. There's a lot of emotion. There's a you know heated discussion and debate on the floor, and as you can imagine, uh, off the floor as well. And I think everybody's ready to move on. If it, there's probably one person more than anybody that's ready to move on uh, forward, and that's Kevin McCarthy. He wants to bring the conference together and begin governing. So you're going to see, I think, uh, over the next, you know, what day today, um, do they make progress? If they make significant progress, he has the vote. You probably see a press conference announcing that. Uh, if they go into noon today and they have another vote, you probably see similar results we've seen over the last couple of days as they continue to negotiate. But you're right. I think folks are growing weary. They're ready to move forward. Um, but the majority of the conference is going to support the Republican nominee until uh, he is no longer the Republican nominee. Now, Michael, former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is calling this disrespect for the institution. We just heard some House Democrats um, talking about this, you know, calling this turmoil in the Republican Party. But yesterday we also heard Congressman Mike Gallagher saying, listen, yes, this is messy, but democracy is messy by design. Um, so what do you make of, of how this is all being handled? Well, Diane, I worked for a blue dog Democrat uh, the, uh, under the first time uh, Speaker Pelosi was the speaker, and I worked for uh, Speaker Pelosi the second time she became speaker. And I got to tell you, these things were managed. It, she, of course, she had opposition to her as well. Um, she had a fractious caucus as well. Um, there were different groups who wanted different things. But these things were managed, and they were managed in November. Uh, we've never experienced anything like this Uh her operation was extremely professional and extremely well run. And unfortunately, I, I, you know, Kevin McCarthy said to his caucus that he deserves to be speaker. Well, I, I'm just not sure he demonstrated that he has his operation. His floor operation hasn't demonstrated that he came in with the same amount of votes that Nancy Pelosi had uh, in the last Congress, and she was able to get 10 pieces of major legislation passed with Mitch McConnell and Joe Biden. So, you know, he really is probably not up for the job, even if he gets it. All right, Tom, I'm going to give you a chance to respond to that. Um, but I also want to ask you about a meeting that's happening. This group of McCarthy detractors is meeting this morning to discuss the new offer on the table. Will that be enough? And as Michael said, do you think McCarthy's up to the job regardless? Well, he needs to show progress today. I think everybody could agree uh, to that. Um, and and I think he probably admit he misspoke when he said he he earned the right. He probably meant to say he earned the opportunity, and he's had that opportunity, and he's working towards the opportunity or you know successfully uh, uh, getting the votes to be the speaker. Um, but this just foreshadows how difficult the job will be for whomever is speaker over the next uh, two years, this next term with a slim majority. Um, this is just going to foreshadow uh, policy discussions in the days ahead that will be much more difficult uh, than electing a speaker. Then you know, those decisions are going to be much more challenging for members. Uh, Michael, is there anything the Democrats can do at this point to kind of help Republicans reach a consensus here? And do they even want to? No, I don't think you will see or expect you should expect to see any help from the Democrats um, to help the Republicans at this point. And frankly, if uh, if Democrat if there are some Democrats who would ever choose to, um, I would be nervous about their political future. I don't know how the rest of the party would feel about that. All right, Michael LaRosa, Tom Graves, thank you both. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.